All right, guys. So now we're getting to arguably maybe the most important part of the entire process when building a website with Divi Machine or any custom post type website when you think about it, because you have to plan things out to avoid mistakes or extra work for you down the road. Trust me on this. I went through this myself. I'm going to switch over here to the WordPress site. And here you'll see a bunch of reserved terms. Now, in the project that we're going to be building out, the site, the classified site that we're building in this course, we needed to define the types of posts that we're submitting. And you're going to learn all about that in a minute. But if you look over here, you can see that you're not allowed to use the word type or types in your taxonomy or slugs on the site. Now, that could be any type of slug. Um, taxonomy, of course, comes with its own slug so that you can have archive pages for them. You're going to want to avoid all these words. Now, I'm going to link this in the course notes for this lesson so that you can avoid the hard work this caused me down the road because when you have to change the slug of the taxonomy, you need to go change a lot of other stuff if you've got stuff like conditional logic, which you're going to be doing in this course. Now, one of the biggest things that you will also want to make sure in this planning phase is that you really think about the data type and examples that you've seen out in the wild. Now, the way that you think about a classified post might differ from what we're going to go through right now, but that's totally fine. There's no right or wrong way to do this. The important exercise here is that you go ahead and you plan this out, that you have an idea of what the structure of your custom post type is going to be. You don't need to know all the fields and stuff like that. You'll probably add some and remove some down the road. But the most important part is that you've got the core there because the less things you need to change, the easier it is down the road. Now, when I'm planning these out, I like to think about how I would submit a new classified post for this example. So we're going to make sure that we think about it step by step on how we are going to submit this, what are we gonna to need to be asking the user, what we, we need on the back end to make sure that things like our conditional logic's working correctly and that you know we can maybe say that something, if it was sold, that we can put it as sold and that it is not no longer listed for sale. Stuff like that. So we're gonna get into that right now. I like to use a pen and paper or I am going to use in this example, my iPad for this. But if you don't have an iPad, as I said, pen and paper works perfectly fine. So any way that you want to do this, what's easiest and most comfortable for you, let's go and get into it right now. So I'll walk you through that in my way. Okay, guys. So now we already know that we're going to be working with a classified post type. So let's just put that down on my page here. And that is our custom post type, right? So. When we're thinking about submitting a new classified post, we're probably going to need to know what type of post we're submitting. Is it going to be a for sale post? Is it going to be free stuff? Or is it going to be a lost and found post? So what we're going to be doing is putting down the category. So let's just put category. And what's cool is that WordPress already gives you the functionality to create categories for posts. And that extends to custom post types that you add with the V machine. So we're just going to be utilizing that. So when we are going to be doing this, we're going to be creating for sale post categories, free stuff, and then as well as lost and found items, right? There we go. So again, we're going to be using the WordPress category function for this after we create our custom post type in the machine. Next up, what type of item are we going to be submitting here. Now, this is going to be up to you. You can have any list of items. And just like here, where we've got the categories, you can add any number of categories. When you think about something like Craigslist, of course, there's so many categories on that site. It's insane. So that's going to be up to you and how you want to extend this. We're giving you the tools and the knowledge on how to go and take what you learn here and build out what your imagination can come up with. So category. Next up, we're going to talk about the item types, right? So we're going to say item type. And this is where I made that snafu before by using a reserve term, don't do it. It is fine to call it item type, but the slug cannot be types. So 
make a note of that or type. So just reference that site. I'll link it in the course notes so you don't do what I did. Okay. So as far as item types go, we're going to put down maybe vehicles. Maybe my pet is lost. You can put down phones. I mean, we might not use all of these, but you know, it's just to kind of get the imagination going as to the different things that you can add here. Now, the way we're going to be using to build this out with Divi Machine, it's easy to add custom taxonomy. And that is exactly what we were going to do. But again, those slugs need to be off that reserved list. So that is how we're going to be tackling that. Next up, we're going to want to think about, okay, cool. I know that it's a for sale post. I know that I'm going to have a vehicle on there. But now you need some more information on this thing, right? It could be any number of things, depending on the type of site that you're building. We're doing classified. So if it's a for sale item, you probably want price. You want a contact name for the person that you might want to contact or the phone number you want them to call. It might be a dealership. There's so many different elements here. I'm going to describe your lost dog, put his name in there, all that fun stuff. So, so you might want to put classified details or item details. Let's just put item details here or info or now. And the way we're going to add these different elements, they're essentially fields that get associated with your custom post type. So we're going to use advanced custom fields. Amazing tool. And it's free. So let's put your owner. Maybe you want to put phone number. Maybe you want to put price, right? If it's for sale. And then, you know, any number of details. Location, that's an important one, right? Because we're going to be using the fancy maps built into Divi Machine, which is amazing. And it's going to look great. And have all sorts of pins on the page, of course, for that. And... Of course, now you're going to have different statuses for these items. If something was free and it's taken, then you might want to put the status as gone to make sure that you're not being contacted over and over and for sale, sold, that type of thing. So we're going to just put status on here. Now we're going to start with these fields. Now you might extend this down the road to have a lot other things. But the important thing here, as I've mentioned to you before, is that now you've got sort of a plan here. We know that we're going to be creating a custom post type called classifieds. It's going to have the categories of for sale, free stuff, lost and found. Now you can extend that or contract that however you feel. And then the item type, we're going to create custom taxonomy for that. And then we're going to add some advanced custom fields using the item info for the item info. So the other great thing here is going to be that this is exactly the type of information we're going to use to filter through this stuff. So it's going to simplify your life down the road by planning ahead and not wasting time fixing things. If you plan ahead, the rest is a breeze and we're going to be building each of these elements out going forward. And again, if you're thinking on how to do this is different than mine, that's not wrong. You can have more than one custom post type. You're walking away with the tools to go and build out the site the way that you would like to do it. But for now, follow along with me, stick with me, this method behind the madness, and there's more in the lessons coming up when we start building this out in our Divi site. Catch you in the next lesson.